When looking back at my first year at Loughborough University, there's quite a lot of information that I wish I knew before joining. So in today's video, I'll be providing you with 15 things I wish I knew before joining Loughborough University. In at number one is going to be how reading lists and referencing works and their importance. So when it comes to referencing, I remember when I went into university, I was a bit hesitant and a bit confused as to what all this referencing malaka was all about. So to provide you with some reassurance, firstly, most of the hard work is actually done by assistive software. At Loughborough this year, the main piece of software that I've been using is a program called Mendeley. What this assistive technology does is essentially, if you come across an online resource, what this program does is it will get that information, put it into the correct order needed for reference list, and then all you need to do is basically export it into a Word document and you sort it. When it comes to the finer details of referencing, like for example, just checking that the software has exported all the relevant information, Luckily for you at Loughborough, you can find lots of information and advice, firstly through things like the Learn Forum, as well as also asking the amazing academic librarians if you come across a reference list or an in-text citation and you're not too sure what to do. Now I have mentioned this in my complete guide and review video of Loughborough University, so if you haven't checked that one out already, I strongly recommend you to do so. So now we've covered referencing in a nutshell, which is just remember the assistive technology to help you out. You've got the in-text citations, which are the ones that go in the text. I know some people get confused about that and the reference list is what goes at the very end of the document. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, for my referencing list, where do I get that information from? That will be your reading lists. The way that reading lists work is that a lot of the time in your courses, you will be assigned a long list of books to read or journal articles, for instance, depending on your course. From this, a common mistake that people can make is feeling that they have to read everything on that list. So firstly, your lecturers will advise you of what books to focus on, and additionally, from those books you focus on, you're not expected to know absolutely everything. The best way that I've gone about things this year and that helped me achieve a first in all my modules was to be rather selective about what information I found useful and what information I could utilize in an exam environment. The second thing I wish I knew before joining Loughborough University was that in first year, it's completely normal to make mistakes and struggle, especially at the beginning. You've got to remember that firstly, university is a completely new environment to anything you've ever been put into before. As well as this, First year is designed for you to make mistakes and try new things out. For example, going into first year, at first you might not know what perhaps the best source to use is. So a lot of people might have made the mistake of, for my course for instance, going to places like Wikipedia or Simply Psychology for their information. Whereas in fact, journal articles is your number one resource. That's just one thing that people will learn throughout the year and you're gonna learn loads of things through first year. So just remember, it's completely normal to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes more importantly, during your first year. The third piece of advice is to try and step outside your comfort zone and try and meet new people and try out some new things. Freshers is an amazing opportunity for this. Firstly, you've got things like the Society's Bazaar, the Sports Bazaar, to learn about everything the university has to offer. I have offered a complete guide of it. Again, I know I've referenced it once before, but again, I strongly recommend it, covering loads of different things the university you can get involved in. For example, for me this year, if I didn't broaden my horizon and try out new things, I would have not experienced anywhere near as so many amazing opportunities as I've been privileged to this year. For example, I've had the chance to represent the university in AU through futsal as a sport I've never played before. Secondly, I'll be going to Thailand in June 2022, where I'll be spending a week working in an elephant nature park sanctuary and another week working for a local village hill tribe. That's again something I wouldn't have had the chance to do without Loughborough. As well as this, becoming a student ambassador, so I'm making digital content and that's why I'm giving you this video now, is from the experiences that I've gained during my time as an ambassador, making digital content for the university, so I can speak to you like this today. There's so many amazing things that I so strongly recommend you to check out and advise you on looking at, and there's such a wide list, whether it be the societies, the sports, whether it be whatever takes your fancy, to be honest, recommend you checking it out and making the most of first year. Number four is making use of the great resources available at Loughborough University. So for example, you've got the careers network who you can go to for any careers information and advice, whether it be regarding CV information or practices, whether it be mock interviews you wanna learn on, whatever you wanna improve on, head to those guys. As well as this, check out the careers events where it's a great chance to meet potential employers. Also, there's loads of events and workshops put on continually through whether it be the Learn Forum or some independent external parties coming in and collabing with the university. So make sure you're using all the resources available to you. And that doesn't even mention things like the facilities, other things like the academic librarians, like I mentioned, personal tutors who you're assigned to, peer mentors. There's so much that I can go on about, but make sure that you're making the most of it. Number five is a classic one. Go to your lectures. And also I'd recommend going to any additional timetable sessions that are put on. For example, we've had this year things like drop-in sessions, and I cannot state how important and how useful these have been for me. 
to ask questions and find out some further information that perhaps wasn't covered fully in depth in the lecture. So definitely go to those. And in case you can't quite make a lecture, I know those 9am lectures can sometimes be a bit of a struggle, then luckily for you at Loughborough University, all the lectures are recorded and available for you to view via the Learn Review. In at number six is going to be, don't leave things until the last minute. Now this doesn't apply just to work, this also even applies to stuff before you even arrive at university. So for example, when packing your things, trust me, you don't wanna be leaving this until the last minute as there's no doubt you will likely forget something and I know how much stress it can cause sometimes when packing your university bags as you don't wanna to pack too much, but at the same time, you don't wanna miss out on the essentials. So if you would like to see something like this done in the future, I'm always willing to cover a video on a university guide and packing list to make sure you've done everything before arriving at Loughborough, whether it be packing all the right items, as well as things like registering a bank account, making sure you're signed up to the medical center, all that good stuff. If you'd like to see that covered, let me know down in the comments below. In at number seven is to keep up with and join the relevant socials for your time at Loughborough University. So whether this be your course groups, whether it be your hall groups or the general freshers group, I would strongly recommend you joining these and keeping tabs on these every so often, as this is where all the information is gonna be posted, whether it be regarding freshers, whether it be regarding socials, sports trials, whether it be regarding course material, course dates, all that information you'll find in those relevant groups and it's a great chance to meet new people, so I strongly recommend joining those. Number eight is going to be getting used to being independent before you arrive at university. Now, for example, this can be things like learning how to cook and getting a couple of meals under your belt. Other things like washing up, getting used to making your timetables and planning your time, because at university, no one's gonna be nagging you and chasing you down for your deadlines. That's up to you, it's your degree. So getting used to that independent lifestyle as it will help you gradually settle into university. As like I said earlier, it's a completely new environment. Number nine is don't spend loads of money on books. Firstly, the library has an extensive online resource of books you can view and download online for you to use at any time. Also, the library has pretty much every book covered there for you to rent out at any point. Also, lecturers will advise you if there is a particular book that they recommend buying. And apart from that, you probably won't need most of the other ones to buy. And like I said, you can use the library, whether it be the online resource database or in person. And if there is a book that's really strongly recommended or you really want to get your hands on, then most of the time, don't buy it new. You can find it secondhand off of other students and that will save you a lot of money in the future. Number 10 is that there is in fact a lot of support available for you at Loughborough University. Now, earlier I touched on some of the academic support you can find, so like the peer mentors, academic librarians, etc. And as well as the academic resources and support you can find, there's also a lot of extracurricular and wider resources and support that's available at the university for you. So for example, you've got counsellors on site, you've got the medical team, even the whole Loughborough family of students collectively, there is a lot of support for one another and you will find that within the Loughborough family. If you're set to be arriving at Loughborough and are perhaps a bit apprehensive, whether you be, for example, a mature student, an international student, a member of the LGBT plus community, or perhaps a student with an underlying medical condition, then I can provide you with reassurance that at Loughborough University you will fit in perfectly and be part of the Loughborough family and provided with the relevant support. For example, through the Student Union, there is a list of associations such as the LGBT Plus Association, the Ethnic Minorities Network, the International Students Network, the Disability Support Network, and the Mature Students Association that provide all the relevant support and a comfortable environment for you to hopefully fit in with. And also in a wider sense within the university, there's the Disability and Inclusivity Student Wellbeing Team who will make sure that every student at Loughborough University feels part of the Loughborough family and has the best experience during their time at the university. Next up, it's completely normal for your friend group to change throughout the year as there's such a wide range and diverse range of students at Loughborough University. So don't perhaps rush into a house with the first people that you meet during freshers. Take time to consider all of the different options and weigh up who you want to live with. I just remember that living with someone can be completely different to being mates with someone. In at number 12 is getting a C card. Now, undoubtedly during freshers, let's just say the bed is likely to be used more than just for sleeping. So you're going to want to grab a C card. What a C card is, is essentially it enables males and females to both pick up condoms for free. You can pick these up at most pharmacies that all display the C card logo. So they should display that just in the shop front, which is most pharmacies. For example, one of the ones you can commonly pick this up from is the pharmacy on campus at Loughborough. Number 13 is to try and make some connections during your time at Loughborough. So you gotta remember that on campus, firstly, when you're new, everyone's in the same boat as you. Everyone's gonna be a bit nervous. You're all gonna get asked a thousand times a day, I'm sure. What's your name? Where are you from? What hall you're in? What your course is? 
So use this time while everyone's really up for getting into a chat and meeting new people to try and make some new connections and find some new friends. As the thing is at university, there's so many amazing, interesting, unique and diverse people that most of the time you can find some really useful opportunities and some really interesting opportunities just by going out informally and networking and, and making connections with these people. So definitely where you can, I know it can be a bit difficult and it's sometimes a matter of overcoming that barrier of shyness, but remember everyone's in the same boat. So if you can, I strongly recommend you to try and make some strong connections during your time at university as they may well pay off and pay dividends for your future career. In at number 14 is remembering that there isn't actually one single definitive way of going about things correctly. Now this applies both in an academic sense and also in a broader scale. So don't feel you have to act up to the stereotypical student. If that's not in your nature, then don't act like that. If you've got societies and loads of events and you feel overwhelmed by going to all of them, you don't have to attend. If you wanna put in eight hours to achieve your subject, or if you wanna put in four hours to achieve your subject and achieve the same results, that's entirely your decision. What I'm saying to you today is just all of my advice and things that I've found useful. You could choose to follow all of them or you could choose to ignore all of them and disagree with everything I say. There's no correct or incorrect way necessarily of going about things. It's up to you, it's your degree, your university experience, and that's what makes it unique. And finally, at number 15, is to embrace every moment and enjoy the university experience. As for most people, university is something that only really happens once, so make sure you're making the most of it. So that was 15 things I wish I knew before joining Loughborough University. If you have any questions, queries or suggestions, let me know down in the comments below as it's always fantastic to hear back from all of you. If you found today's video helpful, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on to be notified when the next video comes out. That's all from me, wishing you guys all the best and I'll see you very soon.